Hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And Chantal went live again, so I shall be jumping around a bit. If I miss something, I'm sorry, but my brain cells are definitely worth more than Chantal at this point. But um, again, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Thank you, I'm doing okay. A little down from my slip up, but I'm not gonna be on too late tonight, so I'll go to bed after that. You have a 19 month old baby? Wow, congratulations though. Jenny, yeah, sure, messy, of course, yeah. We're gonna have less uh, junk in the house. Let's put it this way, he pretty much eats what I give him. So, you know, if we're at the grocery store, he'll say, oh, I like these treats, I like these treats. You know, he's not used to, he's not he's not used to binge eating disorders, a new thing for him, you know? So if I made brought him healthy things, like fruit or something with nuts, he wouldn't even notice, he would eat it. So it's on me, I'm the one gonna be responsible for, you know, like, well, when we go grocery shopping together, we're not gonna be buying any more junk. Show off your hoodie. Uh, this is from Canada, I brought a couple sweaters, but sadly I had to leave many behind. It's sad because a lot of them were gifts, you know, from family thinking that I was going to stay. Okay, but then, like, why not mail them out to you then? Like, and number two, why didn't you take them with you? Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. I love your personality and how much you love yourself no matter what people say. You should never, ever let others determine how you feel about yourself or your self-worth, you know? We're, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not hard on myself. I am, but... But, like, at the same time, Chantal, at one point, do you go, oh... If everybody around me is having the same exact conclusion about myself, maybe I'm the problem. No, it can't be me that's the problem. It must be every, you know, thousands of people that's the problem. I'm not the problem, obviously. At what point are you going to kind of realize that you are the problem? Now, I'm not saying that, like, I'm perfect and, like, I'm this and that, but, like, at the same time, though, Chantal, you don't be this Delulu. Come on. Can family mail some of the clothes? Lazy, I thought of that, but it's probably, like, I've had people try to mail me things here before and it just never, like, it got lost in the atmosphere. I don't know. <laughs> I picture, like, a bunch of, like, pirates intercepting the, the ship that's, like, shipping my Penningtons. Yar, give me those 5X underwear! <laughs> I don't know. It's gotta be a tough trip from Middle East to Canada. Yeah, it's one of the longest ones you can make. Like, 13 hours. It is rough, yeah. It is. But well, I mean, to be fair, whenever you don't get up for 13 hours to even go use the bathroom, yeah, of course it's going to be rough because you're not getting up and stretching and using the bathroom, number one. When I want, when I really want to do something, I don't care what's in the way. So that's how I know, like, you know, where my dedication is. And I do have to just keep trying, I guess. So what you're saying is weight loss isn't one of those things. A yellow hijab? Hi, honey bun! I can be like the girl one. All I can say is that my life is... And this is why I like doing things whenever she's, um, not, um, you know, she's been live for a while. We can skip forward a bit. <laughs> You're welcome. Gosh. I'm actually kind of, it's a, probably a blessing I don't have, a, I can't drive. It's actually really easy to get an international driver's license, by the way. I remember looking it up. Just so people were wondering about that. Some places require that. If you're ever traveling, be, be wary of that. Like, even at, like if you're traveling, be wary because some places require that. Like, if you want to rent a car, let's say if you go to Italy, you have to have that. You can get it online. I drink the Unimate every day, like, in my video. It's, like, the best drink. It has no sugar. It's, like, a lemon iced tea. I love it. The slip. But, like, with that, though, she said this in her last mukbang also. Like, what about all the other benefits other than it just, like, not having any sugar? And, oh, my gosh, it tastes like iced tea. It's great. I love that. Oh, what about, like, the energy benefits, all of the medical stuff, uh, the highly, you know, definitely 100% true medical facts about the drink that, um, you were claiming whenever you first started selling it, but, like, we're not hearing anything about that now? What about that, then? I might do drink when I'm, like, on track, because it adds fiber and vitamins and helps me eat a bit less, but when I'm not on track, I don't do anything. <laughs> I'm not therapy. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I am a little bit adverse to it, because there's many reasons. I've been in therapy so many times and I end up just like giving up. Um, one, it's extremely expensive. And I know you're thinking, well, you spend your money on other things. I know, but for some reason, like it's even more expensive here. Two, um, I don't know. I don't like talking about the past. I hate it. I really hate it. I don't know. If you go to therapy, maybe you can get over that because Chantal, whatever you're doing right now, obviously is not working. Whatever like DIY, oh my gosh, you read in the book, it's not working. Clearly it's not working. So at what point are you going to be like, yeah, I should probably go talk to someone because it's just going, it's going to continue until the inevitable happens, which I hate even mentioning that. But like at the same time, it's probably more realistic than whenever kind of, you know, hunky dory book diet that she has going on right now. Like, come on, be honest honest with yourself. Hi, hey y'all. And I just can't help but feel like they're judging me. Like, I, I feel like they don't care about my problems. I don't know. I can't help but feel that way. You know? 
Well, number one, they're paid to. And then also they're trying to dissect the problems as to what's causing the root issue so that way they can help you. It, you can only help yourself so much, Chantal. If you don't want to care, okay, great, don't care. You have to care at some point to get some sort of help. So that's my my thing. You just watch this Singari. Have you had oh. it? sweetheart your thing is being a victim and then crying whenever you can't even get help because you don't even want it to begin with that's your thing book turkish i do read a lot of those you know and um they do help you know like people who've been they help but yet she literally in her last video said that she gained roughly about 13 pounds now i don't know if that's here recently or if that's from her last way and i don't know but i i don't think that they're helping at all chantal i'm sorry and through things Therapy doesn't necessarily, yeah, you don't have to talk about the past, I guess, but I retained some things from therapy and it's not that I've learned a lot from the, like the therapy I did do. It's just that like, it all just comes down to like, you know, if you're not willing to change that, there's no point. I mean, if you're comfortable here and you don't want to do anything, you don't want to lose weight. Like why bother losing weight? I'm still getting paid at the end of the month. Why change? It's all about your mindset. If you have that kind of mindset, of course, you're not going to want to change. Why would you? I, I totally am not like people think in my recent video, I was making excuses. No, I'm not. I totally acknowledge that. You know, it's just I don't know how to deal with like the binge eating that much. Like when it happens, like I don't know how to deal with that, you know, which is why you go to medical professionals. That's maybe like a nutritionist and maybe like a somebody. I don't know. I'm not a medical professional. I don't know about these things, but like you can only cry victim so long before people are going to be asking you why are you not going seeking out problems then for these issues that you have if you're not even wanting to change to begin with it's ridiculous i'm so sick and tired of her being like oh my god guys i know i was i, I know that like i was making excuses because i was but like you know i don't want to do them right i just I, I feel like they're judging me and just i don't know what to do I go to there okay well i know going to therapy would help but like i don't want to What's the point of even talking about this, to be honest with you? So I guess finding help for that, but I just, it's so overwhelming. Like, just start like looking for the proper help and it gets discouraging. You know, I've been over that a lot, but there are therapists who say, what is my, every time I wear collagen on my mouth, there's no filters on this freaking, I hate that. <laughs> More cook and eat with me videos. Yes, I agree. He does support me a lot, messy girl, believe it or not, he does. We don't know what Salah says or does for her outside of these lives. Some people acting like they know your life. Yeah, that's the thing. He's actually really, um, He's really supportive, like in a lot of ways. Were you restricted food at a young age? Um, I grew up pretty much on welfare. So yeah, I remember a lot of times we had bare fridge, but my mom always compensated with like treats and food. I think she felt bad and like, she always made sure I had food. Like, I'm pretty sure there were times she didn't eat for a while to give me food, you know? So yeah, food was always like, even as a kid, just a super huge comfort, you know? And I don't, I don't need therapy to know that. I know that, that that's probably one of the reasons why I still use food today. Well, uh, you need therapy to try to help you cope with that and try to move forward. I'm so sick and tired of like, oh my gosh, I need help, but like, I don't want help, but like, I need help, but like, I'm not going to get help, but like, I need it though. I'm so sick and tired of this, like self pity, pity me for needing help, but like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get it. Girl, get something else to talk about. It's just never been nonstop since I'm a kid, like excited treats were a way to cope with any kind of discomfort in life, you know? Canada doesn't have food stamps. Yeah, we have welfare. We have like, in Canada, if you need social assistance, you get baby bonus. I, I think you, do you do you guys still get baby bonus in Canada? It's called baby bonus. It's like when you have children, you get like a, a check <laughs> for each child, and then you get like welfare a base amount. I guess I don't know. I don't know how it is now. But my mom, that was she was a teenage. I was a teenage pregnancy. I remember my mom. My I was responsible for my one of my mom's best friends of life. Like she's been friends with her for since I was five, and they were six. Anyway, she went to her college graduation, and there was another lady there. And I don't know why I did this, but I went up to the lady. She was like near us, was sitting near us. And I said, do you want to be my mom's friend? <laughs> and then ever since then, they've been best friends. They've been really good friends. I have never once heard that story. And knowing Chantal, and since she's the main character, and oh my gosh, I made my mom's best friends and her you know, best friends forever for life. I feel like we would have heard about this, but I cannot recall one single time about this story ever happening. You're a young mom now, Sage? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm seeing an endocrinologist here. Yeah, I have to go for an appointment soon, actually, for a checkup. I think I'm overdue. I don't want to go because he's gonna be mad. <laughs> you know that look they give you when they're when you're up there, like, okay, so um, what, you know, like, and, and everything is just not good. They kind of look at you like. 
And whose fault is that? Is that the doctor's fault? No. I, Chantal, it's dire. Your situation is dire. Of course, they're not going to be super happy. It's just like, oh, yeah, I just let everything go. Tee hee. Like, like, no, of course, they're not going to be happy with that. <clears throat> they can only do so much. They can give you a diagnosis and what to do. You have to be the one to follow through with it. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. And then they, they told me that like uh, a few years ago. And I was like, really? I don't remember that. I had a mouth on me as a kid, too. I was kicked out of high school, forced to finish their correspondence. Yes, my mom, too. They kicked her out. Yep, she was pregnant in high school. She hid it for... Until she couldn't hide it anymore, because she was a skinny legend growing up. <laughs> and um, she said that she used to crave... Every day at lunch at the cafeteria, she would eat chuck wagons and put-ins. <laughs> That's why I love put-in. No. no, I didn't push other kids around. Uh, uh, school lunches? Um, from what I've heard, you weren't super nice to your sister. So, you sure about that? My lunches were pretty healthy and crappy up until... Okay, I had like, remember I told you that one time I had a huge lunch? My mom finally let me have like a special lunch. I had Dunkaroos, Fruit by the Foot, a bologna and cheese Lunchable. She used to make me drink papaya juice, so in this case she gave me a Capri Sun and I was so happy. Somebody stole it. And when I checked the bag, it was a ba half a bagel in water. And now that now looking back on it, back then I was like so mad. I'm like, I hope that kid freaking gets run over by a bicycle. But now I'm like happy because like that kid obviously needed it more than me. We had this one girl, her dad owned a restaurant. They, they she, Her dad owned Louie's Pizzeria, my favorite poutine place. And every day at lunch, everyone would be so jealous because we had packed lunches and she would have poutine, the best poutine. But she was she ate like a bird. She was super skinny. So she like, every day, somebody would call dibs at recess and they would get dibs on her leftover lunch. I never got it. I got it like once and I thought I won the lottery. It was so good when you're used to eating like crappy lunches. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly or bologna with like soggy lettuce. <laughs> like my mom never separated the lettuce. But so yeah, the poutine was like a big treat. It was Bebe Rexa. She doesn't know who Bebe Rex is? Really? Wow. And also, whatever happened to her? She had like one or two songs and then she just kind of, I don't know, like never went anywhere. It's kind of really sad if you really think about it. In high school, I, when you could buy hot lunches, I used to use my allowance for, <laughs> I was so spoiled. I used to get an allowance just for unloading the dishwasher. My mom would always leave me a little scribble note and she still does that. When I was down there this year in Canada, I would wake up and there was a little note <laughs> on the counter. And she would say, unload the dishwasher, and she would leave me some money, usually like a couple toonies. And I would use that to buy chicken burgers with extra Miracle Whip at the cafeteria for lunch. And I had to eat my lunch by myself in my final year because all of my friends were high school dropouts. <laughs> and they ended up having to go to like TR Leger to finish their, their degree, which was like a Cornwall adult GED kind of thing. When you talk about childhood, it's always about eating. I know, it's true. It's so true, though. Every single good memory that she has about childhood has to do with food like once someone pointed that out i'm like i can't unsee it because it's so true every single little memory that she has is about food in one way or another i don't like talking about the past i don't like talking about the past to like people in front of my face i don't know why but reminisce get somebody online problem solved thing about good things or like different memories i feel like when they make you dig for something about your past they're trying to get you to realize things but i feel like they're thinking like man your life was messed up I don't know if you'll No, it's more like what happened to you? Let me see if I can, I don't know, maybe pinpoint to where we can start. Isn't that like, that's like their entire job. <laughs> Diana, hi, my 90 year old mom is in hospice and loves watching her. Her name is Ruth Ann. Oh my God, that's so cool. Hi, Ruth Ann. Hello. Thanks for watching me. What's your secret to being 90? Pizza, pizza, and twist. Oh, pizza, pizza. Go Not eating copious amounts of food, exercise, drinking water. I don't know, getting the vitamin D, just, I can think of a few things, Chantal. The past is over. We all have a past. We move on and grow from our experiences. The hardship that create the most beautiful diamonds in life. That's true, Italian. It's true. Nothing special. Crazy bread. I don't like, I don't like breadsticks because I find it like. I was just about to skip it. You don't like breadsticks? Excuse me? How dare you? That's like the best part. You're already having pizza, which has a lot of dough. And then you're getting breadsticks on top of it. Like, I don't want to fill up on bread. Yeah. Let me live my best life, you bully. Let me enjoy my pizza sticks. Jeez. Sticks and then not eat pizza. I like thin crust because you can eat more pizza than we don't fill up. Yeah, I'm the opposite. I hate thin crust because it's just like, okay, great. I had three pieces, which pretty much equivalents to like one and a half slices. I still want more and there's, and there's none left. Do you have any memories with your dad? Mm, I remember seeing him mostly like Christmas. That's about it. He would give me a lot. I liked seeing him on Christmas because like, he gave me a lot of money on Christmas. Every time like he would pull out the Christmas card, I knew there was like a lot of cash in it. <laughs> Do you think people are mean to you because they want to see you improve? <clears throat> I think some people, yeah. I think some people like really take it personal if, or they see it as a major weakness if I don't succeed or if I like fall off track. So, so then this, the next, the one other, because my dad was an addict too. And I know that addiction is like hereditary in a lot of cases. 
Um, he was a food addict. His weight's always yo-yoed. Took me to Eastside Bear. To what size, though? Because I feel like, you know, heavier, sure, like morbidly obese fat to where you can barely walk is kind of two completely different things. And I don't think that we've ever gotten any sort of clarification about what she means by that. So, like, which one, Chantal? Which one are we talking about? He was me sat in a booth. I was a kid. And they had, like, for decoration, empty liquor bottles. We sat in the bar section. And he was like, I remember him, like, looking at the booze bottles. There was probably, like, a hundred of them. I don't know. A whole bunch. He's like, you see that many, those many booze bottles? I'd probably drink more than that. <laughs> I was like, oh, right on. <laughs> He doesn't, he's not an alcoholic. Like, he still isn't. You're, I think you're an alcoholic forever, but he doesn't drink anymore. <laughs> Apple keys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, speaking of addictions, eh? Yeah, it's not. Addiction is something that ruins your life and can ruin others' lives around you for sure. Or you could be Chantal and just monetize it for everyone to see and then rage whenever someone, I don't know, has something to say about it. I don't watch these reaction channels. Like, I've said this many times. The only time I've, like, I hear these things from, like, Yo Mama's channel only. I want a game. I want to make, let's make Gore World on The Sims. <laughs> Hi. Boo, already beat you to it, girl. I never did anything with it, sadly, but I already did that. And also, you can't play The Sims for some reason. Just, I'm still boggled by that. Like, the most hand-holdy, easiest person on The Sims to play, and she's clueless. Like, what What am I doing? What, what do I do? What does that do? It's such a dumbed-down game, and I still cannot fathom the fact that she cannot figure out how to play The Sims. Yeah, no, that's okay. It's not dumb questions. Um... So I can only show my hair to family and yeah, my husband. So like on camera in public, I completely cover my hair and up to here. Like all here has to be covered. Like she even did that before she became Muslim, right? So the people who are recasting your stream can you report the YouTube doesn't care at all. That's the problem. When yeah, I was as long as it's transformative, that she really honestly can't do anything about it. Health gaming and carry. I'm gonna get off soon. So yeah, that kind of solidifies. I've been jumping around already, but I'm going to be jumping around seeing if there's anything worthwhile. But um, if not, I'll be with you guys in just a moment. <laughs> she's, she's short of breath from just moving herself on the couch. Wonderful. Diego 5. I'm not saying I'm perfect and I don't miss any, but that's between me and Allah. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I have, but I'm trying not to. Vaping is unhealthy. I mean, at this point, might as well. I mean, you're already eating a lot of food. Your blood sugar's super high. I mean, like, what's one extra thing to add to the list, right? I mean, at this point. Booty effect. I heard of that creepy, yeah. I make people crave things, like pot pie. Oh, pot pie, my weakness, my love. No, I'm joking. Okay, so I have... You're not, though, because you ate out of the container and then, like, within, like, a day and a half was already all gone that we know of. Ah. Like, the only, I think the only meat I have right now is rotisserie chickens. Like a bunch of chickens. My glucose monitor's cracked. I know it's just the screen. I think the innards are still working. Okay. Yeah, but the display is not working. So I'm not trusting anything that that thing says, honestly. And also, how did it break? That's my main question I want to know because it looks like she threw it. I mean, allegedly, of course, but like, that's my theory that she read a number that she wasn't happy with and she threw it against the wall or on the floor because she was mad. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Letting the reaction channels get to you, they're unhinged and projecting. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, salam, Kristen. No, they don't get to me. I don't watch them. I mean, I like watch, like I said, the only time I get news about any of that, you know, through a uh, Yo Mama, a reaction channel who like doesn't react just to me, you know, they react to a lot of people. Chicken mole. Yeah. No, it fell, Melly. It fell. I got mad at it like you friggin'. It fell. Yeah. No, it fell, Melly. It fell. I got mad at it like you friggin'. It fell. So you're telling me that an entire front display cracked because it fell? Girl, come on, we're not that stupid. Like, a screen does not crack like that and have those kind of markings if it just fell. Yeah, Zoe, it depends on the subject, then I just, it depends, like, if something will trigger me, I just fast forward it, like that part. Because <laughs> I don't usually end up, I don't usually watch in real time. Well, you ever go swimming in your apartment? Maybe when they fill the pool, they don't really do it for the winter. Well, I mean, to be fair, there's also, like, a ocean, sea, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but, like, there's a body of water right next to her apartment building that she could also go into. Do Beezer's get a Discord? Oh, yeah, I have an announcement. Wait! And then I'm gonna go because I'm not supposed to be too late because I need to get to bed. Ugh. My sciatica. God, if you would get up and start moving, it wouldn't hurt that badly. And also, and also on top of that, why are you that winded from just moving and readjusting yourself? What was the announcement? That's the only reason why I'm still here. <laughs> what is the announcement? It's not the spine, it's the nerve in your butt cheek and it goes all the way down your leg. 
hurts so bad. Even if I like go like this. What about the announcement? I want to know about the announcement. I gained a ton on my diet? No, I regained. I would say 13 pounds is a pretty good chunk, Chantal. That's not super great. Just got over COVID too before that. Oh She's honestly not going to mention what the announcement was. I'm so upset. Girl, why, why be like, I have something to announce. Then doesn't announce it. I've been watching and she has not announced what the announcement is yet. Gorlick like weirdo. Yeah, his channel is weird to me. Like, he's strangely obsessed about my weight. I mean, to be fair, Chantel, you also make that the content on your channel. So with that same logic, if someone watches the show about, I don't know, wizards, and I know someone else goes, well, they're really obsessed about wizards. Yeah, that's the pretty much the entirety of the show that we're watching about. Duh. Um, my starting weight was 166. Everyone's strangely obsessed with your weight. Because you made it content on your channel. Don't be upset now where people are like, Oh my gosh, why is everyone obsessed about me and my weight? It's because that's the only thing that you've been talking about here recently. Duh. Anyways, guys, I have an announcement. So I'm thinking, for members, um, doing an extra video, members only, per week. Now, I know I have a lot of content thieves, so I think I will, I will come after your channel. I will come after you if you steal my, my content. Well, Chantal, as long as people edit it down and pay for it for themselves, um, we are still allowed to watch and react to members-only videos. So, have fun with that. That's just, like, I'm just going to ask nicely for people not to steal my content that's members-only. Thank you, because that's not nice. That's not right. <laughs> that's also not against the terms of service either. So, um, you've never really cared about anybody else. Why would anyone else care about you? But I was thinking of doing that, like doing a special vlog for members once a week. Maybe for like the very important Beezer level, like the uh, loyalty Beezer. And maybe, I don't know, maybe a Discord. Oh yeah, that's going to go over like a lead balloon, I'm sure. When you exit, do you have to reply? Oh, also, just like the postcards, right? <laughs> no, Drew vibes. <laughs> you would never come here. Okay, I'm gonna go because I've been on for a long time and I'm kind of sleepy. It's late. All right, well, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.